Imagine if we could walk through walls, not metaphorically, but literally pass through solid barriers without breaking them. Now, imagine something even stranger, particles doing exactly that, slipping through impenetrable barriers without enough uh, energy to go over them. This isn't science fiction, it's real physics. It's called quantum tunneling, and it just might be the closest thing we've ever discovered to faster than light travel. For decades, this strange phenomenon has baffled physicists and hinted at a loophole in the laws of nature, one that defies everything we thought we knew about speed limits in the universe. Could this be a cosmic cheat code? Something that could, one day, allow us to bend space and time in ways we once thought impossible? Recently, new experiments and deep space observations have brought quantum tunneling back into the spotlight, and they're forcing scientists to ask, is there a hidden path through the quantum world that lets us travel faster than light without actually breaking Einstein's rules? In this video, we'll explore the bizarre reality of quantum tunneling, how it connects to particles that seem to vanish and reappear, the mind-bending question of whether information can escape a black hole, and the shocking ways quantum physics could shape the future of space travel. Quantum tunneling isn't just a clever concept tucked away in dusty physics textbooks. It's a real, measurable effect, and it's been quietly operating in the background of our universe since the beginning of time. First predicted in the early 20th century, quantum tunneling emerged from the strange world of quantum mechanics, where particles don't behave like tiny billiard balls but more like probability clouds, fuzzy, unpredictable, and sometimes downright spooky. The discovery came from studying how particles in radioactive atoms seem to escape their nuclei without enough energy to break free. Scientists were baffled. How could something leap over an energy barrier it had no business crossing? It was like watching someone walk through a locked door without opening it. This puzzling phenomenon was first explained in the 1920s by physicists like George Gamow, who used it to describe how alpha particles escape atomic nuclei. But, as our instruments grew more sensitive and our understanding deepened, we started seeing tunneling happen in places no one expected. Inside stars, in particle accelerators, and even in the electronics we use every day. But what's truly shaking the foundations of physics now is how this phenomenon shows up on a cosmic scale. Recent astronomical data hint that quantum tunneling may not just be a microscopic curiosity, it might influence black holes, dark energy, and perhaps even the way particles travel across interstellar space. For the first time ever, we're beginning to see evidence that this strange quantum trick might stretch far beyond the lab and into the very structure of the universe itself. To understand quantum tunneling, we need to momentarily let go of everything we know about how objects move in our everyday world. In classical physics, if you roll a ball at a hill that's too high, it won't make it over. Simple as that. But in the quantum world, particles don't play by those rules. Imagine if that same ball had a small chance of teleporting through the hill and appearing on the other side, even though it didn't have the energy to climb it. That's quantum tunneling. It's not magic, it's math. At subatomic scales, Particles like electrons or protons don't have fixed positions. They exist as waves of probability, meaning there's always a chance, however small, that they'll be found where they technically shouldn't be. Inside the blazing cores of stars, tunneling is what allows nuclear fusion to happen. Protons normally repel each other, but thanks to tunneling, they can suddenly be close enough to fuse, releasing enormous amounts of energy. Without this process, stars wouldn't shine. That means every beam of sunlight we see, every flicker from a distant galaxy, exists because of quantum tunneling. But here's where it gets even stranger. Observations from the Hubble Space Telescope and data from particle detectors on Earth suggest that quantum tunneling might occur across much larger scales. Neutrinos, those nearly massless ghost particles that pass through everything, sometimes behave in ways that hint at tunneling-like transitions, seemingly switching identities as they move. And at the edge of black holes, scientists have noticed 
particles escaping the grasp of gravity in ways that defy normal physics. Could tunneling help explain Hawking radiation, or why some particles seem to vanish from one point in space and reappear somewhere else? Advanced tools like the Large Hadron Collider and gravitational wave observatories are starting to register subtle clues, brief anomalies that whisper of particles slipping through barriers or popping in and out of existence. This behavior may not just be a curious glitch, it could mean we're on the verge of uncovering a completely new layer of reality. And if tunneling truly can occur beyond microscopic scales, then the idea of bypassing space itself, or achieving faster than light, transitions may not be pure science fiction after all. The most fascinating part? If quantum tunneling is shaping cosmic events, then some of those events may have already happened, and we just haven't seen them yet. In the vast theater of space, time plays by different rules. When we look at distant stars or galaxies, we're not seeing them as they are now. We're seeing light that began its journey hundreds, thousands, or even millions of years ago. If a star collapsed or a tunneling event triggered a massive explosion light years away, we might be watching the aftermath only now, like a postcard from the distant past finally reaching our corner of the cosmos. Some scientists believe that tunneling may play a role in how stars end their lives. If this strange process allows particles to bypass the normal energy thresholds, it could destabilize a star's core faster than expected, possibly triggering a premature collapse or even influencing the exact moment of a supernova. Imagine a star 640 light years away undergoing a dramatic transformation its energy escaping in strange ways, until finally it explodes. That explosion might be heading toward our telescopes right now, already on its way through space. When it finally reaches us, it could be as bright as a full moon, visible even in daylight, casting eerie shadows at noon. We might not know when we'll see it, but it's entirely possible that the universe has already written the ending. We're just waiting for the curtain to rise. Imagine stepping outside one evening, and there it is, a brilliant light piercing through the night sky unlike anything you've ever seen. Not a star, not a planet, but a blazing beacon that wasn't there the night before. It doesn't twinkle. It shines, like a second moon suspended in perfect silence. For days, maybe even weeks, it dominates the sky. So bright it casts shadows at midnight, visible to the naked eye from nearly every corner of Earth. You wouldn't need a telescope or even a dark sky. Just look up. This is what we might witness. If a star influenced by quantum tunneling suddenly collapses into a supernova, the energy released in such an explosion would be unimaginable, billions of times more powerful than our sun. Light from the blast would travel across the cosmos finally reaching our planet and lighting up the heavens like a cosmic fireworks show. The sky could change color slightly around it, hues of blue and purple shimmering near the explosion's edge, a visual echo of an ancient event. For many, it would feel like witnessing history itself unfold above them. The kind of moment grandparents tell their grandchildren about, the day the sky changed, a reminder of just how small we are, and how alive the universe really is. It wouldn't be frightening. It would be humbling, beautiful, awe-inspiring. And for that brief moment, every eye on Earth would turn upward, united by wonder. Events like these aren't just celestial spectacles. They're cosmic factories. When a massive star explodes, it doesn't just vanish in a flash of light. It leaves behind something extraordinary. In the heart of that explosion, the forces unleashed are powerful enough to forge the heaviest elements in the universe. Gold, platinum, uranium. Things we consider rare and precious on Earth are, in fact, born in the deaths of stars. Without supernovae, our planet would be a very different place. There would be no wedding rings, no fuel for nuclear reactors, and, more profoundly, no complex life. This is what scientists live for. Every particle blasted into space by an exploding star becomes part of something new.
These elements drift through space, merge with interstellar clouds, and eventually coalesce into new stars, planets, and even us. Every atom in our bodies, carbon in our cells, calcium in our bones, iron in our blood, was forged in the furnace of a dying star. We are, quite literally, the universe made conscious. By studying a quantum-driven collapse or a tunneling-influenced explosion, researchers hope to learn more than just how stars die. They're trying to understand how everything begins, how the laws of physics behave at their most extreme, and how we fit into this endless cycle of birth, death, and rebirth. Stars like Antares, V.Y. Canis Majoris, and U.Y. Scuti are all on borrowed time. Each one holds secrets about the origins of life and the architecture of the cosmos. Watching them, learning from them, it's our way of reaching back to where we came from. Despite how dramatic and powerful a nearby supernova might look in our skies, Earth would be completely safe. The star in question would be far enough away that the explosion's shockwaves and radiation would never pose any real threat to our planet. What we'd see is light, pure, brilliant, ancient light, reaching us after a long journey through the cosmos. No destructive force, no danger to life. At most, we might notice a few subtle changes in our upper atmosphere. Increased ionization could trigger vibrant auroras, painting the skies in surreal greens and purples, even in regions that don't usually see them. It's not harmful, just another beautiful side effect of living in an active universe. And thanks to neutrino detectors here on Earth, we might even get a silent early warning. These nearly massless particles are released before the light from the explosion reaches us. Instruments like Super Cameo Candy in Japan and Ice Cube in Antarctica are always listening. When they detect a sudden burst of neutrinos, they send out alerts to observatories worldwide, giving astronomers a head start. It's a cosmic alarm bell, quiet, invisible, and incredibly fast. We'll be ready, watching the skies not with fear, but with anticipation. We're witnessing the final breath of a giant, a farewell millions of years in the making. This is the kind of moment that humbles us that pulls us out of our daily worries and reminds us of the vast, beautiful machinery beyond our world. A star's death is not an end. It's a transformation. What looks like destruction is actually creation in disguise, a rebirth that seeds the cosmos with the ingredients for new worlds, new stars, and eventually, life itself. Think about that. Long before humans walked the Earth, before our cities, our languages, or even our sun, this dying star lit up its corner of the galaxy. And now, after journeying through the silent dark for hundreds of light years, its final message is almost here, a flash of brilliance, a cosmic signature, a reminder that everything is connected through time and space. When you look up at the night sky, know that you're not just seeing stars, you're seeing history, you're seeing futures. Somewhere out there, another light is on its way. Another story waiting to be told. So keep watching, keep wondering, and keep reaching. The universe is still speaking to us, in light, in silence, in beauty. We just have to remember to look up. If you found this story fascinating, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share your thoughts in the comments below. There's a universe of stories out there, and we're just getting started.